Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Katerina. If you are new, if you are returning customer, welcome again. I am back. I am all right. I am back to vlogging and uh, doing cross stuff on youtube and creating some sort of content for you i did have to take a break because i didn't really feel like vlogging with everything which was going on i had to sort out my uh, mental mental health and my situation i just felt um weird by vlogging but i think i'm sort of all right now decided that i'm going to just do what i love to do until i can when I can't, then I just won't do it anymore. So, welcome back. First big change, which you can see on my haircut. I went to see a new hairdresser. Ooh, I don't think I will go in again. Not that impressed, but uh, hey, um, we have to try it. I have to give up my old hairdresser. If I can give you one advice, never get friendly with your hairdresser or never go to a hairdresser which is your friend or their family is your friend or you know each other just because um, then you know too much information about them and then you find out that you really disagree on some ideas and on some things which they believe in and then you might feel like you don't want to support that person is anymore and then you realize that that was the best hairdresser you ever been in and it was the hairdresser who understood your hair and who did your hair cut perfectly and every time you were so happy and excited when they cut your hair and now you have to find yourself a new one so yeah that's uh, my advice for you don't ever get friendly with your hairdresser so now <laughs> i am just sitting in the kitchen i need a breather the kitchen is a mess but we just had a huge breakfast and I cannot breathe. So I thought I would just drink my coffee and then start cleaning up kitchen. Plan for today is to plant um, tomatoes for this year. I am trying to grow some sort of vegetables and spices. I'll show you later what do we have, what do we have so far, what is growing and how did I uh, grow it. And also I might show you how will I try and plant my tomatoes. This is the first time tomatoes, tomatoes whatever you want to pronounce it this is the first time i'm trying to grow veggie i mean it's not just me it's me and my partner but this is the first time we are trying to do it and we want to see what we can plant we don't really have the veggie plot we just have um a planters outside so we will see how that will go but tomatoes need to be planted inside and we need to grow them from the seeds because we got the seeds we didn't get seedlings so we want to do the whole bit from from seed to the whole plant and then hopefully um fruit as well my eyes are so shiny i don't know if i'm coming down with some cold or if it's just a uh, hay fever but look i look like i am like i'm not okay i don't know what's up with me Anyways, I'm drinking my coffee and this is what I wanted to mention to you. I found a very great company in UK. So if you are in UK and you like coffee, this is a company really which I would like to give a shout out. They don't sponsor me or anything. I found them online. They are called the Odd Coffee, S-O-D-D. Um, and what they do is really great, is a very sustainable and eco-friendly business. What they're actually doing, they are buying a surplus coffee and a coffee which would be otherwise thrown away from uh, places where the coffee gets roasted. The coffee would be otherwise just dumped. Uh, I cannot believe that apparently every year in the UK there are tons and tons of coffee which is being just thrown away because the it's they just roasted too much of it or the beans don't look perfect so they won't get used but this company the old coffee they do buy that surplus coffee they check the quality they repackage it and then you can um, buy it from them it's much cheaper than buying coffee from the shops um, i'm talking about the more better quality coffee not the cheapest one it won't be cheaper than that but if you want something 
more fair trade possibly organic i'm not sure if coffee is organic but if you want like better quality beans or better quality coffee then this will be definitely um cheaper to buy i did actually buy a big uh, one kilo bags of coffee beans and we really like it we do go for medium roast i don't really personally like dark roast very much but the coffee is amazing and i think it's a great idea and great thing what they are doing so if you want to give them a try i will link them down below but i think it's quite a good business and i like to support them coffee is very good they also do do um, coffee pots and also um, grinded coffee as well so it's not only coffee beans but we like coffee beans because we like to have freshly grinded coffee um, to drink and this is basically it what i wanted to tell you right now so i'm going to finish my cup and then i will need to start cleaning the kitchen which i really don't want to do but i'm excited to plant tomatoes and to show you everything what we have i did report it almost all my indoor plants most of them really liked it and they are thriving and growing some of them are dying and i don't know what to do with them i tried everything but they're just not not happy but uh, yeah i will show you my planting um adventure so you can see what what was i doing while i wasn't filming it is time to plant some tomatoes or tomatoes <laughs> i don't know how to pronounce it all of a sudden never had this problem until i started filming today but we have our seeds here i have some um toilet rolls which are cut in half i'll show you how do i use them and explain why do i use them and then also i have my trays for the propagator where the seeds will hopefully sprout and start growing also my compost is ready so let's um go down on the floor make some mess and plant some tomatoes right now i will just need to find a place where you will be the most comfortable okay so this is very strange angle but let's do it so this is where i have my compost mixed i am mixing two parts of compost and one part of perlite i did buy the compost a few weeks back i think i mentioned that in my very last vlog I will try and find it on Amazon, the exact same one which I bought because it turned out to be really good for seedlings plus also very good for indoor plants and I always mix the same ratio, two, pounds of, two parts of compost and one part of perlite and it seemed to be working very well. It is peat-free compost with organic feed which means it smells slightly poopy but it doesn't really affect it in indoor plants so it doesn't really create any problem so now i will take two trays i am going to be planting planting six tomato seeds we only are going to try and grow them in a pot outside so we will be putting one plant in a pot and we only have three pots so in case something goes wrong we are going to grow double amount of seeds and hopefully they will all sprout if we will have all six of them we will just find a new place for for the other ones i did cut a toilet paper roll in half just because the seed tray is not very big or the tray is not very big i will place them um three in this little tray and then just cover it up with the compost like this i found out to be way easier than just plant them on their own because then when you need to remove it from a propagator and once they graduate and uh, are ready to live in a bigger house it's much easier to get them out because you can just use some sort of stick and wiggle it out and hold the toilet roll instead of actual plant you can damage the plant you can damage the stem you can damage the leaves with my clumsiness there is very high chance that i will do that so i did use this sort of method for sunflowers and they are all already in the new big houses I'll show you that uh, once I finish this. So this is way easier how to grow your seeds if you do have propagator, even if you don't have propagator, it is much easier. And also this is a cardboard, so this one will compost or fill apart eventually 
in the soil. So now I will just fill this with my compost. I am using um, all sorts of tools in here. We have some the basket which used to be house for some plants, but I didn't plant anything into it for a while. Then as for scooping, I am using empty hummus tray, <laughs> so it's all over the place. We are reusing, we are recycling, nothing gets thrown away and everything get to be used. Um, just fill it up. And this is quite nice because the roots can actually go under the uh, toilet roll and they can start growing in a compost around so you don't have to crumb it up too much so this is how it looks like right now you have three um, toilet rolls inside and then let me just put some seeds i don't really know if these seeds are good or not we have tried this before this is our first attempt we pick the ones which could be grown outside so let me just pick three seeds. They are so tiny, you cannot even see them. And I will place one in each. Hold on. I should make a little hole where to put the seed and then just cover it up. So I just made a little uh, tiny holes. You don't need to see that. Drop the seeds inside. So each of the toilet roll does have a little seed in it. I'll just cover it up gently with the compost, water it, and then hopefully grow some tomatoes. Now I have to do the same with this one. Both planted, they just uh, need to be watered, put into propagator, and now we just have to wait. But let's have a look what else is growing or what else am I growing right now. Okay, so this is my windowsill. This is the propagator which I was talking about. I will try and find it on Amazon and link it down below. It's really great one because it's self-watering one. So you will just fill up the tray with the water and it will just water itself. But now it's time to water our tomatoes. I am just watching a camera and I'm not sure if I am doing the right thing. So I have to look back. But yeah, let's hope that this will be working and then we will manage to actually grow some of the yummy tomatoes in it. So these are the sunflowers, which I mentioned before. We have way more, but those two live on this windowsill. And as you can see, they are living in their own toilet roll <laughs> holder, but it's slowly coming apart. So hopefully that will work. Also, another thing which I wanted to mention, the name tag for my tomatoes is actually um, a COVID test. So this is used COVID test and I just wrote it on the other side. I've seen that one somewhere on the Facebook and I absolutely loved it. Now we just need to pop this little, this little lid on each of them and hope that they will start growing. Here we have some oregano growing, but also think this is sunflower which shouldn't be here i don't know why it is there but <laughs> i just found that out a few days ago then we have some basil which is doing very well so this one will be moved very soon and here i am doing some uh, experiment i collected some uh, seeds from the flowers a couple of years ago and now i'm just trying if this will work if anything will actually grow so hopefully it will so this is my lovely propagation station as i mentioned i will try to link it down below to be completely honest all this gardening and stuff i've never been one to enjoy things like this but i think since the first lockdown i started uh, putting my fingers into the soil and then i started growing my indoor plants and it just um, keeps me going and it makes me feel like that I have a purpose and something to nurture and look after and something to look forward to in the future. 
especially these last few weeks honestly this propagator <laughs> kept me sane because i was growing the sunflowers and like sprouting them and growing them and repotting and then growing other vegetable outside we have a pot with uh, radish spring onion and rocket all of them are slowly growing and just as i said it just makes me feel hopeful for the future because i do have a days so when i just um don't and i found it very difficult to even leave the bed and do something this is my gardening window for this week i'm very excited also i'm still cheating some tom tomatoes no potatoes which hopefully will grow as well i mean we are going full crazy this year we are just trying and testing and see what we can grow without actually having any veggie bite but just have some planters and things which we can use and reuse now i need to tidy up the mess and i'm thinking i might make some cookies i do have a recipe for cookies i actually made them here so i will put it somewhere on the screen um it's a very easy recipe literally there are no ingredients <laughs> in those cookies it's free of everything but they are really good especially if you put a little bit of coconut cream on the top uh, absolutely delightful so i think i'm going to do that we did have some sweet treat today already we did treat ourselves with some kinder chocolate but i want um to file a complaint what happened to a kinder chocolate i mean I was so disappointed when this came to me look at this where is the cardboard box and where is the child where is the boy from the packaging and where is the cardboard box i am so disappointed this is some special edition 16 small bars inside everything is just falling off falling out we need to keep chasing them because they are falling out of the packaging why would you do that why would you change the perfect uh more eco-friendly cardboard packaging into a plastic one which can't be recycled especially these days when everyone is talking about zero waste and you know not creating even more plastic than is necessary so this is my complaint for this week <laughs> as well as my gardening for this week so this vlog is slightly uh, shorter we are not going to be doing anything uh, special. I just wanted to show you how do I garden, how I am, that I am back and I will be coming with more content. I hope you are all well. Thank you for stopping by and for watching this vlog. I will hopefully see you next week. I do have some other ideas what I would like to do with this channel as well. So I might try something like that in the future. Until then... Keep positive, keep smiling, look after yourself and I will see you very soon. Bye!